Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so let's just say this whole limit here is y. So we're going to say the whole limit is is uh, is y, and we're seeking this y. So now uh, now take the natural log of both sides. So take the natural log of this. Take the natural log of this. This will go down, giving you this. And then you've got your natural log, natural log. And then you've got this thing here, this thing here. So now visualize it as one block multiplying another block. So now this block gets multiplied to the top, giving you, giving you this. So in effect, you've got a, you've got one thing over the other thing. So now let's check it. As x tends to infinity, as x tends to infinity, if you look at this here, natural log looks like this. As x tends to infinity, uh, this bubble here is heading towards infinity. Now you're putting this infinity thing back into the natural log here. So 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 this, for this log, it is also heading towards infinity. So uh, so so this whole thing here, hang on, this thing here is heading towards infinity. When you put it into the second, the outer log, because this thing here is heading towards infinity, then the whole thing here is also heading towards infinity. So this whole thing here is heading towards infinity. So here you've got infinity. As x tends to infinity, this is also heading towards infinity. So here you've got infinity over infinity, indeterminate form. So you can use L'Hopital's rule and, and just differentiate this. If you differentiate this, it will then give you this. Differentiate this, it will then give you this. Now, if when, when you come to differentiate this, um, imagine it as uh, as as the natural law of, of a bubble. So when you differentiate it, when you differentiate this, it will be one over bubble, and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself, which is one over x. So uh, so that will then give you this. So now tidy this up. This top times top, bottom times bottom. So that will then give you. That will then give you uh, this thing here, but this thing here divided by one is just this thing here, which is this here. Well, think about it. From here, you can jump to here. So now, um, now you can see that um, as x tends to infinity, as x tends to infinity, this is going to be very, very big. This is going to be very, very big. One divided by very, very, very big is going to be well. It's going to head towards zero. This whole thing here is going to head towards zero. The limit will be zero. So earlier, um, we, we've got natural log of y equals zero. So now exponentiate both sides. So e on this side, e on this side. These two, in a way, cancel out, giving you, hang on, giving you, giving you, giving you this. So, well, from here, e equally to both sides. That will then give you this, and then these two will cancel out, giving you this. So, uh, so y is well e to the power of zero is one. So, uh, so if, if you if you get a graph plot and plot it, this is one here, and you can see it's heading towards it's heading towards one. Okay. So next question. So find the okay. Maybe there is no next question. Okay.